everybody, it's Patty and I'm back. And first of all, thank you so much for watching today. I have a little quiz for you. Not a really quiz, but a chore. Well, not a really a chore, but I have some instructions for you today. So this is the new YouTube. Have you noticed that there have been a lot of changes in the past week? So what I want you to do right off the bat is look uh, probably right down here. I think it's going to be right down here for you. And you'll see the word subscribe, or you may see the word subscribed with a D. And if your subscribe does not have a D on it, why don't you go ahead right now and just push that button and subscribe to me. I really would appreciate it. I have to tell you that uh, from the time I started this channel, it was not about trying to get subscribers. Uh, as I've said so many times, I'm, I'm pretty sure, No, so far no one has proven me wrong, but uh, I am the oldest person do, actually doing uh, videos on the YouTube beauty channel. So I, for those of you who don't know, I'm 69, and... Uh, so, I, when I started this almost a year ago, it was a year ago, January, uh, I think the first week in January, maybe, or, or maybe the second, uh, I really didn't think I would have maybe just a little handful of subscribers. You know, I thought, if I have 10 or 15 people watching me, I'm going to be happy. Uh, it was never about subscribers. It's never been about making money because, trust me, I'm not making any money off of this channel. Uh, I do not... Um, most of my videos, I do not even monetize, if you know what that means. That means you, it's a setting where you can collect money off of ads. And uh, rarely do I even um, click on to monetize a video. So it's certainly not about any money that I might make off of YouTube. I looked the other day and I think for the, almost a whole year, I've only made about $70, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, a drop in the bucket. Uh, I spent more than that on some new lights here, or probably pretty close to it, and then a new computer and all kinds of things to help me with this venture. So uh, I've certainly not even begun to recoup any money, and that's not even what I'm here for. But I want you to know that you, if you do subscribe to me, I'd so so appreciate it. I am getting really close to a thousand. I say I'm getting close to a thousand. I'm about, uh, I think I, this morning I checked and I think I had 780 of you subscribe. So I have about 780 subscribers. And if you had told me a year ago that I would have that many subscribers in less than a year, I would there is no way I would have believed you. Uh, but you know, there is something about uh, hitting milestones, I guess. Uh, I would I would say a go hitting goals, but this since this was never a goal that I had set for myself to reach a certain number of subscribers, uh, I don't see it as a goal. I see it simply as a milestone. And uh, so it's sort of, it's not sort of exciting, it's really exciting that I've had uh, 780 uh, of you who uh, have liked me well enough to hit that subscribe button. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I think it'll be exciting to hit a thousand. I don't think it's very likely that I'll hit a thousand by the time I celebrate my one year anniversary making videos, but we'll see. Uh, we'll just see what happens. That's, that's really what it's all about because as I said, it's, for me, it's not about making money. It's, um, it's about getting to know so many of you. I've made so many wonderful friends. So if you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and hit that button down there and subscribe to me, uh, and I'll appreciate it. Also down there somewhere, and I can't remember where it is in this new setup on YouTube, there's a, a thumbs up button, a like button, and I hope that uh, when you feel like you really like me, that you'll push that button too. And I really hope that you'll leave comments. I love 
reading your comments. It's so much fun. I, I just, I love it. So, uh, again, thank you. I have something new I want to show you. Uh, I have seen Teresa from Beauty uh, for Every Day talk, review, and then talk about this eyeshadow palette uh, numerous times. And as a matter of fact, on uh, one occasion when I commented to her about how pretty it was, she responded back to me that I really d did need to look at it, that she thought I would love it as much as she does. And so, but I thought, you know, who needs another big eyeshadow palette? I, I don't. And I had the Naked 2, and I have some MAC palettes, and just a lot of different palettes, Too Faced, and more than I care to mention. So it's almost like I have more eyeshadow than I can ever wear, like most of us do. But I was in uh, Sephora last weekend, and thought, well, I'm just going to look at that firsthand. So I went over and picked it up, and it's the Lorac Pro. And I'm going to tell you, all I had to do was open it, and I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was going to buy it. The colors are wonderful. This is absolutely everything that Teresa says that it is. Uh, I don't know how to tell you how pretty these colors are. Um, the colors on the top level... And I'm going to try to do this. Well, look, there we go. Maybe that, that'll work. All of the colors on this top row are really pretty soft mattes. And the colors on the lower row are, um, they have just a tiny little bit of glimmer. Uh, certainly um, colors that all of us can wear uh, if we're older. So, I absolutely love this. I have worn this every single day since I got it. And I will tell you that I could get rid of every single eyeshadow palette that I own and be have just this one. And I would be just as happy as I could be. I could use this palette every day for every occasion. I love it, love it, love it. I've seen uh, the new little Naked palette reviewed uh, numerous times, people who have ordered it online because it's not in the uh, stores yet. I've seen this, uh, that one reviewed, and you know the colors are really pretty, but I think the colors are very, very similar to some of the ones in this particular palette. Now, the Naked 2 palette, I think, was maybe 50 or between 50 and 55 dollars I don't remember exactly and I think the um, new little naked palette uh, because it's so small is it between I think 25 or 27 dollars and this one was let me get my receipt because I bought some other things there that day oops my battery died this one was 42 dollars so I think, you know, now you did get a little uh, trial size of the Lorac eyeshadow primer, which was about like that. I didn't bring it up here with me. But you do get that with this, or at least I did. And I happened to get the last one they have on the sh had on the shelf. I'm sure they'll get more in at the Sephora I went to, but um, I love it. Thank you so much, Teresa. I have it on today, and I will put in the down bar... Um, the colors that I have on today, and also something that I want to start doing because so many of you have asked about it or and continue to ask about it, and I'm just real lazy when it comes to that down bar. Uh, I will start listing everything that I'm wearing uh, every day when I record in the down bar. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. That's sort of like my New Year's resolution with YouTube, is to try to do some things with my channel that, uh, and answer questions that you're specifically asking of me. Uh, a lot of you, many of you have asked if I had my hair trimmed, and yes, I did. More than a trim, I had a major haircut. Uh, probably about three or four inches cut off of the length. I was wearing it in that real wavy hairstyle, which takes up a lot of hair to do that. So... Uh, my hair was probably a lot longer than any of us realized, 
and I will tell you that I haven't been able to wear it that way uh, with this haircut because it just draws my hair up way too much. So I'm sure that it will grow a little. I had the color done too, and it's already starting to grow out here. Something else that many of you have asked me about are the phytoceramides that uh, I've started taking after seeing that Dr. Oz show that I reviewed. Um, and I am taking them. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I did that, saw the show and did the video, I immediately went to order them. And the website I went to said that they were in stock. And I ordered them immediately. Then about three days later, I got an email stating that they were on back order, which did not make me happy since the website said they were in stock. So they gave me the opportunity to cancel the order or just stay on the list, so I chose to stay on the list. But I went to a different website who also said they were in stock and placed another order for them. And would you believe, got an email a few days later stating that they were on back order and I could stay on the wait list or I could cancel my order so I opted to stay on the wait list there also and um, just take my chances. So one of them came in. I don't know which one it was but uh, well I do too because this is Vitacost I think. Yeah this is Vitacost. And I wrote on the, my lid the day I started taking them. So, November the 28th. So, I've been taking them, I guess, what, a couple of weeks? And I'll show you what they look like, or at least this bottle. They're a little blue capsule. And they're small, not very small at all. There's my little finger, so you can see they're not, they're not big. I'm not a pill taker, so it takes a lot for me to swallow a pill. So, but I have no problems with these. Um... When Dr. Oz talked about these, he talked about the fact that they uh, it might take about two weeks. Some people saw results in two weeks. Some people it was four weeks a month. Um, so it's been around two weeks for me, and I, to be honest with you, I can't tell any difference at all yet. Um, if you want to know what they do, you can go back and look at that video. I'll also put that video down in the down bar so that if you haven't seen it, you can go back and look at where I reviewed uh, his show that day. Uh, I'm also continuing to use the vitamin C and uh, the retinol. And uh, I love both of those. I've used both of those on and off for years. But I'm only using those. And... Um, I've been using those since the show aired and nothing else, not, just really nothing else but the uh, uh, vitamin C and the retinol every day and every night. So um, I'm going to keep trying these. I have at least a two-month supply of them uh, because the second bottle did finally come in, I guess, a f just a few days ago. So I'm going to continue to take them and we'll see if I see any difference. Uh, I will say that I have gained about three or four pounds, I hate to say, over the last uh, month. And, you know, when you gain any weight at all, your face fills out and the wrinkle, the little fine lines and the wrinkles tend to not be quite as noticeable because they're filling out a little bit. So, you know, that could be part of why I'm not seeing anything from this. I don't know. But uh, I need to get this weight off and I think I'm just going to wait until after the first of the year to because it's going to be hard to be good right now for me so I'm just not even going to put that in my mind right now to try to lose weight right now but I'll get that off in no time at all after the first of the year um okay what else is there listen again I just want to thank you so much for watching uh you're just the best subscribers in the world I truly truly appreciate you uh, I, as I said before, I appreciate you watching me. I, sub I appreciate you subscribing and giving me the thumbs up. And I love, love, love your comments. It's a beautiful day here today. It's cold. It's in the low 30s. I think it got down to about 18 last night. So we're having a little bit of a cold snap. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, 
it's a beautiful day. The sun's shining, and I'm going to get out and go meet my husband for lunch. So I'm excited about that. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to leave me a comment, and how about a thumbs up? Have a wonderful day. Bye.